hello guys welcome back to my channel today i am doing which this is a totally new collection that just came out so this video is going to be going up tomorrow which is friday like per usual so we're on top of things this time i am trying the new wet and wild little dessert collection the ice cream bee and coffee cat sorry for the glare as well as i got a lip gloss from each of the collections that they released not really collections they're just palettes but I have not swatched these, I have not tested them, so this is all authentic. So let's get started. So I'm going to do a couple swatches for you guys. I'm not going to swatch the whole palette, but I will swatch a couple shades. This is what the Ice Cream Bee palette looks like, if you guys can see that. And it kind of smells like cocoa butter a little bit. So I'm going to swatch a couple shades just to see, you know, how these are, obviously. So first impressions, ooh, these look pigmented, okay, like Wild's doing something, you guys can hopefully see that. Alright, so there's a couple from that one. And I'm going to open up the other palette. How is everybody doing? How are you guys? I hope you guys are good. I'm doing good. I got, well, I cut my own hair. I am licensed. Just let you guys know. But, you know, licensed or not, it is definitely hard to cut your own hair. Leave that right out there for y'all. But this is a coffee cap palette. These are the shades in that. If you guys can hopefully see that. This so it smells really good. They smell like coffee beans. Really smells good. This shade's pretty. Ooh. Pigmented here as well. Okay. So I think Wet n Wild is doing something. Literally. Because when I was younger, I remember Wet n Wild had those little mini compacts that were like no bigger than this they came with like four or five like they had the lid and then the inner corner and all of that and i remember jesus sorry and i remember they kind of were like a hit and miss really i mean i know as the years went on they were a lot better quality like the formula i think was changed but okay oh where is well, anyways, I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm sorry. So we're going to use ColourPop's concealer to, Jesus, I can't even think today, apparently, to use as a base for my eyelids. So since we're reviewing both palettes, I'm going to do a look on each lid of the different, of each palette. Jeez. I'm apparently not ready for this video. So, video will be a little bit longer than usual, but you guys know, I try to get short and sweet and to the point, but I also like to show you guys, you know, what I actually think and not rush through it, if that makes sense. Because I definitely like to give my full review. So... I want to jump into the ice cream B one first because it looks more uh, interesting. So we're going to jump in and I will show you guys the shades at the end that I used in order if I don't, if I like miss anything. So I think for um, starting off in the crease, I think I'm going to use this lighter beige color just to kind of set everything in my crease. And windshield wiper motions. And then I'm gonna go with the shade next to that. These are powdery, obviously it doesn't bother me, but just for anybody wondering, just to know if that bothers you, concerns you, whatever it may be. Oh, 
All right. Okay. So these shimmer shades definitely are popping. I really like these mint shades. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here on my lid and then this shade somewhere. I gotta see where that's gonna fit. Maybe on my outer V. Oh wow, it comes quite a bit on my brush. Okay. Now I'll probably go over this again with my finger. Just because, you know, usually it's a little bit more pigmented when you do that. I'm also going to use a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and we're going to see how this works with that. Because sometimes wetting the brush makes it a little bit more, and it sometimes it intensifies it, I had to think for the word. Yeah, it definitely made a difference. Definitely, yeah. Whoa. That's pretty. All right, so the other shade below it. I'm going to use over here. I'm going to attempt to do it on the outer part. But I got to kind of see where we're going to go with this, <laughs> so to speak. You know what? That's cute. We don't need it too dramatic today. We're just dipping in and getting a feel of how we perform. And all I'm doing is taking that mint green shade and rubbing it under. I'm gonna use another. Really, really pigmented, really pretty though. And my eye is kind of starting to water. Whatever reason. So it's actually like helping to intensify it even more. So there's that eye with her. And I'm going to put the mixed colored marble shade in the inner corner. Ooh. These palettes are doing something, literally. Okay. Wow. That is pretty. All right, now we're gonna do the coffee cat. On the other eye. It smells like coffee beans, I love it. And we're gonna use the lightest bone shade in here in my crease to kind of set everything bare. And then next, we're going to go in with this shade and then this shade in my crease. And I'm going to kind of blow it out a little bit just to blend out the edges. And then I think I'll take a smaller, more defined brush. Oh, that's pretty. That is really pretty well. And I'm gonna take and just blend that just a little bit more. Ooh, she cute. And then I'm going to put on the lid this reddish burnt shade on my lid. Well, half of my lid because I'm going to kind of do a little cut crease. I have hair in my mouth. 
well, whatever you really want to call it at this point. We're going to try to intensify her again with some Fix Plus. Not too bad. I'm gonna put her under here. All right, let me put her under there. So, kind of a monochromatic look is kind of what we're going for. Well, it's where we're at. And then I'm gonna use the latest shade in here to pop in my inner corner. And I'll show you guys that in a minute. Ooh, that's pretty. So this shade right here, I put in my inner corner. So I like these palettes. Pretty cute, pretty monochromatic. Kinda like it. So, I think while we're on camera, I'm blind, I'm trying to see what the time is. I think while we're on camera, I think I'll actually, you know, talk with you guys a little bit and finish the rest of my face. So I'm going to curl my lashes. So how has everybody been? I'm going to use the Milk Mascara. And then last we'll do lips. We'll try these lippies. I know we're still in a pandemic, so how's everybody been other than that? <laughs> My lashes are literally so long. I love it. Now I'm hoping at some point, you know, I can get in the gift of editing eventually and put in some music or something and fast forward things a little bit for you guys. So you're not like sitting through quiet during all my videos. Cause I mean, I definitely try to talk as much as I can. But it's like, what can I talk about? What do you guys want to talk about? Because it's like, you know, I'm sitting here and I'm trying to like, not repeat myself in every video. I mean, you know, there ain't a whole lot to talk about in this world today. Well, I mean, there is. Not that there isn't, but like, I talked about a lot of stuff. In a lot of videos and I don't want to repeat myself over and over again stuff that I've said in previous ones if that makes sense all right so I definitely see some green on my face Don't mind me if it's not very sanitary. So pretty though. All right. So for primer, what are we gonna use for primer today? I think we'll use this. The H2O Fresh Dewy by JCAT. I'm gonna use this in a hot minute. I actually haven't been wearing foundation very much besides for like pictures of like stuff that I like put on my face. <laughs> I can't even make any sense today, can I? But basically what I was trying to say is I haven't really been doing much, so I haven't really been wearing much foundation or any makeup. So, you know, how that goes. 
There's a brush. I'm fixing my nose ring, I promise. So, this is the Revlon Candid Foundation. One of my favorites, actually. The newer foundation that came out was here. Sorry, hair literally everywhere my hair just doesn't ever leave me alone ever even though I caught it and it is such a perfect match I remember I got it at my local Rite Aid when they were closing and I literally didn't know really what shade it was gonna match me the best I remember I was like dabbing this on my face to like try to like blend it in to see. And like, you know, you're obviously not supposed to do that. And it's listening to my eyes. I do bake a little bit. In case anybody's wondering. Anyways, I know you're not supposed to do that. But you know, I try not to do it unless I'm almost positive, almost certain that that's the shade that it's going to match. So we were good. We were Gucci. So here we are today. It is really pretty. I definitely love the um, mascara by uh, Milk, I think. So now we're going to go in and we're going to contour just a hair. I'm going to use the do to do My Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer and tawny. You guys actually don't think... Hang on. I don't think really have seen me do a full face on camera. Ever. Ever. We're gonna go in with a minute anyway with a bigger. <laughs> Just look at I'll take this to kind of chisel out what's there. And we'll do a little bit of blush. We'll take my Beach Cosmetics Bellini palette. Well, that's better. For a minute, I was like, we'll use the Wet n Wild highlighter. We'll use this one down at the bottom. brows I'm just gonna put them in place a little bit I'm not really gonna do anything with them all right and to set everything in we will use the make it dewy by Milani All right, so finished face now onto the glosses. I think we're gonna use this gloss today. This is in the shade La Vida Mocha. 
Mm, it smells like coffee. Mm -hmm. I like it, it's pretty. I really like it. Probably could have used a dark lip liner, but you know, it's fine. We're just going to open up this other one just to peek. This is in Fun Day Sunday. Yeah, this smells like the palette too. Oh, this is pretty. This is the swatch on the hand. Yeah. I like the smell of them and I think the packaging is really super cute and simple. So, our final thoughts for today. So, these are definitely both a win for me. Literally, like, look in my eyes. So easy, so simple, so pretty, so monochromatic, so inexpensive. Go pick these up. I bought these literally the day they launched, right off from Wet n Wild. They're $8.99 each. They're so cute. Oh, huh. I didn't even notice there are shade names on the back. So, we learned something together today, kids. So, they're shade names. Pretty cute. So, with that being said, I hope at some point in time, Wet n Wild decides to put the names of the shades on the palette, not on the back of the palette. See? See what I mean? Just a little disclaimer. That's the only bad thing I have to say about this, honestly. I really liked how these performed. They were easy to blend. Very pigmented, as you guys can see on my eyes. Like, look at these shades. They're beautiful. And these lip glosses, too. They're cute, just as well. I know there was, I think, four or six different shades in each little, like, collection. But I definitely would go pick them up. They're only $3, I believe, is what I paid. So, yeah, you get a great deal. And I believe they still have free shipping on their site when you spend over, I think it's 15 or something. So that's definitely an even better deal because you don't have to pay for shipping. You're literally paying just about the same price you would as if you were to go into Ulta per se. I don't know if they're going to be at Ulta. They may be. I don't know. But literally you're going to pay the same price you would if you were to walk into your local Ulta. You don't have to pay for shipping, which is great. Hello? Who does not like free shipping? Because I do. I don't know about you. I love free shipping, love free shipping. So I definitely would recommend these. Like I said, I hope Wet n Wild comes out with cute little collections like this again, because they're so, so inexpensive. They're so great quality. So let me rephrase that. They are such great quality. I couldn't think of what to say. Such great quality for such an affordable price. Their formula has really kicked ass in the past few years. Like. Like I said, when I was younger and I used to wear their eyeshadows, you know, the whole like swipe and go, but nothing wrong with that. But like when I was younger, my makeup then compared to now was like, whew, what the hell was I doing? But definitely they've improved a lot with their formula and their products. And I mean, even their highlighter palettes or highlighters per se, they're fucking amazing. Like go pick them up. What are you doing with your life? You want to spend some money on new makeup and spoil yourself, please go buy these. Go buy them. Tell them I sent you. Maybe they'll put me on their PR list. Just kidding. I really hope they do one day because your girl likes their products. Like, look at this highlight. Like, look at it. Look at the eyes. Like, come on now. And their, their dewy photo focus foundation is fucking amazing. There's another product you could buy. You literally could do an entire full face on their site of products for such an affordable price like all right i'm gonna shut up now because we're at uh, 24 minutes i don't like glasses on hopefully i get contact soon i have an eye appointment next month so literally anytime i do makeup and my glasses are off i'm farsighted and i have a lazy eye and astigmatism so it's like you know but my makeup still be popping even though i can't see very well with all my glasses. Just so I let you guys know. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved this video. I loved making this with you guys. I hope you guys liked it. Please give this video a thumbs up. 
um hope you guys enjoyed i know i had some of the requested swatches and like as you know for everybody that watches i don't always do swatches just because you know it doesn't always explain the performance or the quality or anything like that but i definitely wanted to swatch the shimmers because shimmers are amazing and why not but hope you guys like this video i'll see you guys in my next one have a great day or night or wherever you are Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.